Phyllis Mwanthia, a mother of two, has been on a mission of donating her breast milk to children who are in dire need of the milk, especially in children's homes. It all started with one expression of the milk and she has never run out of supply. I never wanted to feed my baby formula and because I knew I had the milk, I knew the, first, the, the, the best way to empty out the breast is either through your baby suckling or you uh, pumping your milk. But after expressing several times, her breast milk continued to overflow and over a short period she had an oversupply of the precious commodity in her refrigerator. And she had to acquire a deep freezer for more storage. The reason I've decided to donate now is because uh, I saw that um, I have a huge milk supply. I've already established my milk supply per day 400 ml. On a good day, on a good day, 400 ml, on a bad day, 200 ml. We join her as she goes to donate the accumulated milk in one of the children's homes that has young infants. The milk that I'm donating today is about 8 to 10 liters. And I have expressed this over a period of uh, four months. The thought that another child will be nourished by my milk is very satisfying, it's very fulfilling. So what I would tell to other mothers who have an oversupply, please don't throw away your breast milk. But before Phyllis started donating her breast milk, she had to ascertain she's fit to do so in order not to endanger the lives of the young ones. I have a letter to show that I am medically and physically fit to donate the breast milk. According to Mary Mathenge, a lactation manager at the Aga Khan University Hospital, Several tests have to be carried out on the lactating mother before she donates. Before you donate milk, you have to be screened for HIV, hepatitis B. Anything that can be transmitted through blood can also be transmitted through breast milk. If a woman is negative, then she can easily donate that milk. And then before that milk is even put in the milk bank, it has to be screened again. At the Angel Center for Abandoned Children in Waithaka area in Nairobi, Helen Oirimo says they have 65 children in total, but 13 of them are still young, solely depending on the donated breast milk. And she says that it's always a reprieve to have mothers donate their milk. Here, na tunasikianga vizuri, tukipata maziwa hiko. Juu sana sana hawa toto wandoko, kiwanzia kwanza hiyo ya mama imeletwa, huwe inawasaidia sana, wanakuwa vizuri. Breast milk is said to have all the nutrients that babies need. And to the lactating mothers who have excess milk, there's no harm in donating. Bill Dean, Waliaula News.